I've spent all of my medical career in diabetes as a student here at St George's University of London. I worked for the professor of medicine whose interest was diabetes and when I qualified I, I did my first junior medical post with him. I was appointed as a consultant in the last century in diabetes in East London and I've continued my diabetic practice and I, in, I did a diabetic clinic here at St George's this morning. The challenge of the nation at the present time is escalating obesity and an association with increasing waist girth and increasing body weight is type 2 diabetes and as you're probably aware type 2 diabetes the frequency or prevalence has just escalated in the UK over the last two decades. I think one of the major challenges for people with newly diagnosed type 2 diabetes is the change of lifestyle because if they change their lifestyle, if they get their weight down, if they are physically active, then that is the best way of controlling their di diabetes. In fact, it means that they will manage their diabetes for the remainder of their life. The research done at St George's is highly significant. The unfortunate escalation in obesity around the world is being paralleled by an increased frequency of type 2 diabetes. The work we're focused on in southwest London trying to prevent type 2 diabetes in young people is critically important and the messages that we have here in London need to be communicated across the world.